All right, what I'm doing today is I'm gonna replace this regular spotlight with a ring spotlight. Um, I have one, I, what I did was I bought a wired one which plugs in, which made, I made that mistake. But see, I'm gonna put one of these like this there. And if you can see, I just ran the wire right underneath there into the uh, into the panel. All right, I took the old spotlight off. It's just this one screw right there in the middle. Take that off, the whole thing comes off. And then you got your wires up here. Black, white, and ground. And now I'll show you what the ring stuff looks like. All right, what I have here is the ring spotlight cam wired. See that? Wired. So what that means is, which I didn't know when I ordered it, it means that it has a, um, a wire, like a plug on the end. Which is not gonna work, which won't work for what I'm trying to do. But I'll have, I have to modify it. Here it is. So here's the camera. And it has a plug, like you plug into an outlet. So I'm not going to use that. Can't use that. I'm replacing a regular spotlight that has. AC voltage on it constantly. So this stuff out of here. I think the box is screwed, it's not. So they give you all this stuff. What I'm gonna do is I bought a plate. It goes in the box. There's a box on the on the wall on the outside of the house that is uh, a rectangle box. So I'm just gonna put this on the box. The box up here, put this on there. I'm gonna drill a hole in here. And I already know from what I did with the other one. See how this comes apart. Unlock there. I'll mount this with, with this on there, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole right here, fish this wire into there, and then hook it directly up. So I'm gonna cut. I don't know how much of this, probably right about here. I don't need that much. Cutters. I'm gonna cut more than I need. Alright. That wire, I don't know what you do with it. Just throw it away, keep it, whatever. So now. Give you all these things to mount it to, and whatever. Like I, I don't know what you'd mount it to, how you would mount it outside with the with these, but whatever. I, I can't see you putting that in the cinder blocks. Maybe wood. Hey. Something that looks like looks like it's for sheetrock. Anyway. But they give you a bunch of screws. So what I'm going to do is, I need to drill a hole in here, and I have a, a rubber grommet. So I'm going to go get the rubber grommet to know what size drill bit. I am right back. Okay, I got a rubber grommet. It fits over the wire. 
I'm going to drill a hole in this plate. What I want to do is, hold on, before I do that, I want to make sure, so this, let me make sure that how this goes. That goes like that, goes like that. I'm going to put this on here. So I need to have the two holes, I need these two holes to be accessible. So that's going to go there. And then I'm going to put the hole, I'm actually going to, I'm going to marker, I'm actually mark it. So this is going to go in here, so let me just take the plate off. So the plate goes on, actually like this. No, no it does go like that. Yeah. So the plate goes like this. So I can mark the four holes where I want to use them. That looks good. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to draw little pilot holes for that. Now that's there, so I want to put this. You see? Put this. Four holes marked. I'm going to pre-drill those, and I have the, the wires going to come out and go in here. So I'm going to mark a, about where the center is of that. And that's where I'm going to drill a big hole. Zoom out. All right, I'm going to drill a big hole right here. So, I'm going to do this first. Add this little bit. Okay. We can really thaw it out. I'm going to pre drill this little hole. This one is the big hole. Drill this hole out. Let's 
gonna file, I'm just gonna file. Just trying to file the burrs off. Okay, now. Got my um, grommet, and I use the grommet that the drill bit went right. Yep, there we go. Was a little bit bigger than the hole, so now I'll be able to take this and show right in here. Let me uh, cut the wire. The wire, I'm gonna slice, I don't know, like this much off. This might actually, this might actually be too much. I might have to do this on the ladder. But peel this back. Like I just peel it back. Maybe you grab one of the wires you can pull it. Okay, and then actually, this if you pull this here, you should be able to cut this. Pull it. No, maybe not. Okay, cut this extra sheathing off. Use these, it's easier. And I use this wire strippers, and I just strip it. I like to twist them so there's no strands. It's not frayed. And it's probably not long enough. Or this is this. I probably didn't take enough insulation off. But when I go bring it up there, I will. Uh, I can adjust that. And I still. I think this whole wire is going to get cut for more anyway. So I think this is going to be too much to go into the box. So what's going to happen is now. Now what I'm going to do is screw this on here. This will get screwed on. This will come over here. So this will be up on the. This is going to be screwed up on the wall. Turned around, and then it just sits there. And there's a little screw that goes here. A special screw they give you. A little pin. This little pin that goes in the hole. comes out right here and it sticks it so it doesn't come out of the uh, so you can't just slide it out. I can even give you a screwdriver. I'm just getting I'm just getting this, this screw started so I don't have to get it later. Yeah, alright. And then here's the screws. So, this is the procedure. It even says up. It tells you which way it goes. Up. So, like this. And take these little screws. Put some of this stuff away. Bits. Screws, screw them in. Yes, they're way too long. But that's okay. Just 
stick out a lot. And they're sharp. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. This will be up on the wall. This will go, come on, go in there. It won't, it won't slide down with this pin in. I didn't think the pin was in that far. It won't slide down for some other reason, maybe. Yep, that's what it was. All right, well, that's upside down. Anyway, you get the point. So I'm going to go put it up, install it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here we are. Cab is installed. And all you have is that little, is that little piece of wire hanging down right there. So that's not too bad. The, if you got the one that was already hardwired, it's a couple more dollars, maybe like 50 more dollars. And the wire goes in through the back and it goes right into the box. And it gives you some other different connectors, the round connector and stuff like that. But you can look at that online. Um, anyway, this is what I did. These wired ones were a little bit cheaper uh, at Amazon. Um, they're a little bit cheaper at Amazon at the time, so that's what I decided to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, well, it's installed, and that's how you install a ring spotlight cam wired, and you actually hardwire it to a electric box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped help somebody out. When I was looking, I didn't see anybody that uh, gave instructions on how to do this. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the only one that bought a wired one and uh, was surprised on that it wouldn't be able to hook up. Okay, thank you.